this how-to session will focus on configuration and execution of inventory value reports in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. In Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012, inventory value reports are configured under the module Inventory and Warehouse Management. The configuration takes place under Setup, Costing, and Inventory Value Reports. To configure a new report, press the button New and assign a unique ID to the report. You can also add a description of the report. The report we will configure will report the inventory value and a calculated average unit cost. You can assign a date interval, which will at execution time be used to calculate the from and to date. As the report will focus on inventory values, we will click inventory under financial position. In Microsoft Dynamics AX, we have a notion of physical and financial inventory. In this report, we will summarize this into one inventory by clicking Summarize. This report will focus on resource ID and resource group ID. As we want an average unit cost calculated, we are also checkmarking average unit cost. The resource type for this Report configuration will be material. Material is default in all inventory value report configurations. The detail level in this report will be total. We have now configured the report and can close the form. Execution of inventory value reports takes place under reports, status, Inventory value and inventory value. We select the report ID configured. We can see that the date interval code is inserted and a from and to date is calculated. We can then execute the report. In Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012, there is multiple options for execution. You can execute to screen, you can execute to PDF, or to a file. It can also be executed in batch or on client. In this session, we will execute it to screen and on client. The inventory value report has been executed. We can see that the report includes resource group, resource, inventory quantity, inventory amount, and average unit cost. We can see that the report includes a resource group called Car Audio and an item A02. Having a current on hand balance of 2,500 pieces. The inventory amount is 160,500. The average unit cost is 46.60. We can also see the total inventory quantity and the total inventory amount. Currently, we are looking at the total balance of item A02. Microsoft Dynamics allows you to store inventory on multiple inventory dimensions. For instance, site. If the company has multiple sites, it could be interesting to see the average unit cost across sites for comparison. I will now demonstrate how easily the report layout can be reconfigured to report 
the average unit cost per site and on item level. The configuration of the new report will take place under Setup, Costing and Inventory Value Reports. We can copy and reuse an existing configuration by pressing the button Copy. I will assign a new ID and a new description. Inventory average cost per site. And press OK. We can see that all the configurations are copied over. And we just need to add the extensions. We want to view site, so I click site in view mode. And I want a resource ID total. And the new configuration has been completed and I can close the form. We go up on the reports for execution, under status, inventory value and inventory value. And we select the report ID and press OK. We can now see that the site has been included as a column and a resource total has been calculated. If we look at our car audio resource group and our resource AO2, we can see that it holds a balance on site 1, site 2 and site 3. We can see that our total balance equals the one reported on the report before. If you look at site 1, that the average unit cost is 45. On site 2, it is 60. And on site 3, it is 34. So there are significant differences in the average unit cost. And that opens up for deeper analysis. In Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012, a user can also define an inventory value report where both inventory and WIP can be reconciled against the general ledger. I will now demonstrate how you can configure a report that allows you to reconcile against the ledger. We go under Setup, Costing and Inventory Value Reports. And we press the button New. We assign a new unique ID and we give a description of the report. Inventory plus WIP plus GL and we assign a date interval When reconciling against the GL we need to assign a dimension set I will choose that we reconcile against the ledger accounts you could also choose to reconcile against a ledger account and a site dimension. This report configuration will focus on inventory and WIP. So under financial position, we checkmark inventory and WIP. As this report will reconcile against the general ledger, we click on print cumulative account values for comparison. And we can see that inventory account and WIP account is active. We then assign a ledger account that corresponds to our inventory value. For inventory I pick my ledger account called total on hand inventory. For my WIP account I select my ledger account that corresponds to my total WIP inventory. In this report configuration we want to summarize the physical and financial inventory. In this report configuration, we will only focus on resource group. That's because my ledger is set to post per resource group, so I want to focus my inventory also on resource group. Under resource type, I will check mark material. Default by the system, I will check mark labor. I will check mark indirect and direct outsourcing. This means that resource of all these resource types will be included in the report. 
the detail level will be total. I am now done with the configuration and can execute the report. And we go up under reports, status, inventory value and inventory value. And we select the report ID and press OK for execution. And the report has been executed. We can see that the report contains resource group and it contains inventory quantity, inventory amount, width quantity and whip amount. We can also see that it contains materials, it contains labor and indirect cost. Direct outsourcing are not included as I don't have any postings under the direct outsourcing resource type. We can also see that on our material side the resource group are car audio DVD player which is my item groups. Under labor the groups or the resource groups will be work center groups and under indirect cost it will be my indirect cost groups. We also have the general ledger balances in the report. We have them in two sections. We have the inventory ledger and we have the WIP ledger. Because my ledger is set up to post per item group, I can in the report reconcile each of my item groups. So under my inventory item group car audio, we can see that the quantity in inventory is 2,600 pieces and the inventory amount is 121,500. I can go down under my inventory ledger, under car audio, to see if I can reconcile the amount from the GL and it matches. I can do the same for all the item groups and I can also do it at a total level. And the report will also show any discrepancies between the ledger and the inventory. And I can do exactly the same for my WIP. I can go in and look at material WIP from the DL says there is 1000. I can go up on my total material in WIP and see that there is 1000 posted. And I can again look at the total WIP to see that there is 2,492 in WIP and I can look at the total WIP amount to see that it matches. And again the report also reports that there is no discrepancy. So this report allows you to report both inventory and WIP and reconcile both to your GL in one report. The summary of what I've shown in this video is that the inventory value report in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 is very flexible. The user can define as many report configurations as choir and they can be saved and they can be executed individually. Thank you for listening to this session.